Hey folks, how's it going? This is Neil for CarLightCleaner.com. You may uh, visit my website and you'll probably see the service zone map. And that really is the area in which my service is conducted within the borders of the service zone that you see. Now, does this mean that I won't service anyone that's outside of that service zone area? Not necessarily. But there are some things that you should know uh, how far out I will go outside of that service zone area. So let me uh, show you guys another map here of areas that's outside of my service zone. So as you know, I'm based in Cartersville, Georgia. My service zone basically ends north and that's at Adairsville, Georgia. Now going past that, when it gets to be 30 minutes or you know half an hour, I do apply a service charge going outside of my service zone. So anywhere that's at 30 minutes, it's gonna be $20. Anywhere between that half hour and my one hour trip, I would charge $50. Now, if it takes me an hour to get to a location, which is cited here on the, uh, the map here, which is Dalton, Dalton is about an hour's drive from Cartersville, Georgia. I would really just charge $75 just to go to that location to service headlights. Now, I know that's over double the price of what I would charge minimally for $65 doing a headlight job, but it is no fun driving one hour. <laughs> it is no fun to drive one whole hour and then to come back to my base in Cartersville is, is another hour. So that's like two hours. So I really would hope that, you know, there is a headlight restoration service in that area that would rather take care of that job than for me to go up that way. So if there's absolutely no one to service uh, a client and I have to drive that far, I have to charge $75. Now, bear in mind, that's on top of the regular service fee of $65. Okay. So that's that is a travel fee that I would charge seventy five dollars driving out an hour from my service base, knowing that coming back home is going to be another hour's drive. So, I mean, I could easily just say no to anyone uh, who wants me to come that far to service the headlights. I mean, it'd be a total of one hundred and forty dollars. Now, some guys will probably charge more than that uh, if they're willing to do it for less than one hundred forty dollars. I'm okay with that, but it is no fun <laughs> to drive an hour up that way and then drive another hour coming back to Cartersville, Georgia. It's, it's just crazy. Um, there was a client, a potential client who called me from Ella J. I mean, if you look to the right of that map of the $75, you'll see the town Ella J. Um, so someone wanted me to go there. And the reason why I would go up north to do somebody in Dalton is because it's a straight shot. The 75 freeway to Dalton is it's just a straight shot. And I like that. Uh, but if you have to come off that freeway and go to the back roads and everything to get to LJ, it, it would take even longer. But if you're closer to the main artery of that freeway, 75 going north, then it's feasible for me to come out and service you, but uh, those prices will apply uh, going outside of the uh, service zone, whether it's 30 minutes or it's between 30 minutes and an hour, which is $50, or, you know, if it's going to be an hour, which uh, you have to practically be right <laughs> at that freeway, um, you can be somewhat off from it. But certainly if, if you, if you as far out like Ella J and some of these other, uh, towns that's just off from the uh, main 75 and you have to take all kind of back roads. Uh, I just, I, I have to say, no, I, I, I just can't do that. But if you're inside the interior of route 411, uh, between that road and 75, then it's definitely a consideration that I would uh, take the trip to service your vehicle. So I would just like you to bear in mind, you know, this is my personal preference. Um, other guys who may have mobile headlight restoration service, 
they will probably go to the extent of the furthest extent of where they will travel to to go do the business. Uh, for me, this is just my personal preference because you know I want I want going to service headlights to be convenient for me. Um, I guess if I was in my thirties, if I was younger, I'd probably be more bold and daring to travel out further. But you know, I'm I'm, I'm a senior citizen, and so I have limitations. So I'm only going to go so far. So here, um, in this map here. What you see are some no, I don't go there symbols <laughs> with the the round circle with the line drawn through it. Um, as I said earlier, where you see the three circles with the line drawn through it, those are areas I don't go to because they are just too far from the main artery of the 75 freeway. So it would just eat up way too much time to go through those back roads to get to clients in those areas and then work my way back to the uh, the freeway to get back to my home base in Cartersville, Georgia. Uh, certainly that great big old circle with the line through it, that's the downtown major Atlanta city area. Uh, I just don't go down there. Traffic is crazy. I mean, it is helter skelter. I just stay away from downtown Atlanta unless, you know, I'm absolutely desperate to make a buck to go that way. I don't do it. And so uh, technically being actually retired, um, I really don't have that level of desperation <laughs> to go down into that area of downtown Atlanta to do a job. Even if they was want to pay me $200 to come down there, I just won't do it. I mean, you, you can go and buy brand new headlights. Anybody living in that area uh, will certainly be making enough money. They could just go ahead and buy a set of headlights. And there are some that you can get around $150. Uh, and they have the money to pay a mechanic that will probably charge them around $200 to install them. So, you know, there's, there's no reason for me to go down that area anyway. It's just, I just won't go there, <laughs> period. So, but that red boundary where you see those arrows, those red arrows point that those boundaries, I, I don't go beyond those boundaries. So, I mean, even though technically it is outside of my service zone area, um, I will just charge the various travel time fee uh, according to how far outside of that uh, boundary that they are for my service zone area. And so, of course, you know, you, you catch all the other uh, mentions that I make. Uh, that's a determining factor as to why I will go outside uh, those boundaries. Uh, but, you know, there's factors outside of the boundary area that I won't do because it, it all relates to how convenient it is for me to get to the 75 freeway and return back home to my base uh, in Cartersville, Georgia. So that's, that's really it there. Um, traveling for an hour, uh, 30 minutes to an hour to go anywhere. I mean, that's, that's a lot of time coming back from 30 minute drive. That's an hour. Coming back from a one hour drive, that's two hours. So um, I, I have to feel like I have to be paid for my time and labor to do that. And but the option is always to uh, accept a headlight service that may be nearby you. So if possible, check to see if there's a service near you before you call me if you're out that far. <laughs>